Welcome to another episode of the Pat Down. You know I'm Miss Pat, so I'm always here. And I'm here with Chris Bangalanga, because he's here too. And my other co-host, Dion Curry. We all here cooking some jerk chicken. We got shit to talk about. We want to talk about Hot Dick Diddy, honey. <laughs> the Diddler. The Diddler. <laughs> the Diddler. Diddler. <laughs> somebody made the diddler and he's dressed up in green like the riddler from batman <laughs> baby because baby he on the run he on the run like he i thought he was shooting a, a party in first 48 how that plane got up out of there <laughs> I, really, you know really when i saw that plane take off i said this is american greed and they yeah. said like it's diddy plane i said oh okay oh that's what i thought it was american greed i thought somebody had made some money and ran off you know but it just did him you know he don't want you to see his pussy stamp to tattoos or whatever he did you know did you and you look back at the tapes now diddy was talking to some black he said this is a pretty motherfucker and i'm like what man called another man pretty a diddler <laughs> well stay tuned y'all <laughs> after the music we're gonna see if diddy fuck dion So what's up? Shit. So what's up, Miss Pat? Hold on, nigga. I'm trying to get back to the zoo. I can tell you one thing. We ain't on the run like Puff Daddy. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know if he guilty, but he's showing sure up running like he guilty. I'm like, God damn, Puff Daddy. It, it, hey, stop. Won't they, stop. they let these kids get put in cuffs, but then as soon as they raided his house, he it was like Fred Flintstone twinkle toe. He's skedaded red uh, uh, I don't know what some Caribbean country. <laughs> Antigua. Antigua. I guess he's supposed to be going to some like Africa. it's Antigua. some country off the at coast of Africa that doesn't have any extradition treaty. Well, when they say Antigua, I thought he went to a nigga house. He might get locked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Damn he's going girl. to jail. Oh I, I, the, 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 he going to jail. R. Kelly like <laughs> seems like y'all ready. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing or how he was doing it, but a lot of people act like they knew he was doing it. Mm -hmm. Cat Williams said something in the interview with Shannon Sharp because they did know he he was doing it. This this thing is about to get blown if he don't mysteriously kill himself. Yeah, he's gonna tell on a lot of people. Did you he wasn't doing name? this by himself. All this time. Did you see his neighbor who was uh, saying that he had busloads of young girls coming in at night? Mm -mm. Now, now, of course, this, this person could be full of crap, but son, uh... All the miners over here late at night. I live right next to him. He do too much. Yeah, that's what he do. He be like, he be like buses, like big-ass buses. You just see all type of shit hop off. Especially at nighttime, like around three o'clock in the morning, it gets wild. I'm his neighbor. My basketball go over there. I just let it be. I don't know what I'm going to do. The basketball goal thing was, but okay. I don't believe that nigga. Basketball player, ain't he? I was trying to. I was trying to. I mean, the cup I well, he is, he is allegedly accused of sex trafficking. Sex? Oh, he going to jail. Come on, Raymond, get this trash. Oh, so, so this girl, he just puts this randomly up on Twitter, on uh, Instagram Live. Nobody knows where this girl went. Her name is Ava Baroni in April of 2020. And uh, here's the video. Yeah. I'm a Scorpio. No, no, no. What's your last name? Oh, Ava Combs. What's your other oh. last name? Ava Baroni. Ava Baroni Combs? Yes, it's, it's breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to tell them the story about how I adopted you. We, but you still have beautiful parents that mature my child also. Please, please tell the story. 
So, <laughs> I was on the streets, <laughs> and then Papa Combs decided to, that he would like to be a caring man. So then he oh, oh. saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids. Yeah. <laughs> This girl's probably like what, Dion? 20, 18, like 18? If you, if you wish, that girl looked fucking 12. Well, she could be, she can look like that, but she could actually be of age. But the internet is hunting for this girl. They're like, she Man, got the way she was talking, she didn't sound like she was 18 to me. Well, if she was on the street selling pussy, they usually don't get educated before they sell pussy. I don't think he's accused of buying it. I think he's accused of stealing it. She didn't <laughs> sound like someone who had an adult mind. Yeah. She didn't sound like, you know how adults form nah, sentences, even the ones nah, who don't. Nah, kill is 36. <laughs> And he thinks the honey bear makes the honey. <laughs> so I, I like he said. don't speak like a child. He speaks like a dummy. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, Dion. Well, somebody going to jail. Somebody about to be uh, our killer roommate. And they're going to make some fuck. Can you imagine the hits that's about to come out of prison? <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be any where are they gonna record? <laughs> because those walls are soundproof. People in prison are crafty. They'll make something. Yeah, they'll get I that. Out hate to have to smuggle in a boom mic for the video. <laughs> you ever seen toilet wine? I've heard of that. I've been to jail. Mm. So, yeah. What was the craziest thing that you ever saw smuggled in where you were like, how did you get this in here? I, I you know, I did. I didn't I didn't see a, like I didn't do drugs. So, you know, I wasn't with those people. I was always on the phone. Right. The crazy thing I ever seen them do is soak Eminem and take the color off and use it for mascara and lipstick. What? Oh, okay. I uh, use the Eminem like eye shade and lipstick. And uh, they would take the putty away from around the windows and glue their weave back in. So now all the air is coming in in the wintertime. <laughs> Bitch got a head full of hair. <laughs> can be ball for the winner. <laughs> can you imagine if R. Kelly, Diddy, and Trump are all together? <laughs> That'd be a talent show, wouldn't it? I tell imagine you, a, a buddy. Okay, a buddy comedy. These where R. Kelly guys, and Trump, the greatest guys. The R. Kelly guys. and Trump become friends, and then they Diddy is the head of the other gang, and Trump and Diddy have a war. <laughs> Put that in the production, Miss Pat, right away. Mm. Uh. uh, uh. <laughs> Nine-year-old white man and uh, accused, whatever he's accused, going to be accused of tra tra trafficking girls or child. Nah, never mind. But I tell you, somebody who's making who's making me laugh about this shit is that motherfucker Fifty Cent. Somebody need to get Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent out here hurting people. I'm out here laughing at Fifty Cent like he a fucking Richard Pryor or somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I got the, he he don't he don't waste no time. He told me meat meal. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till they find your sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what the fuck is going on with with with, with him and meat meal? I, according to according to the street, Puffy have fucked everybody. If you thought hmm. you could sing, you've been fucked over <laughs> or up in or somehow. It's a shame. We and you know what's crazy? So we're not losing. We, we're not. We 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 don't really lose R and B singles. We lose rappers to the street, but we're losing uh, the R and B people. Cause he was a little R and B. Am I right? Yeah, but if you fuck kids, you get to you deserve to be lost. Yeah, we're losing them like him and R. He Kim. did. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't R and B. What was he? He was a rapper. He produced some R and B groups, but he. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you might be right on that one. He never sang. Who was that? So Fifty Cent apparently, and Diddy don't get along, and he's deleted a couple of my favorites. <laughs> but he, he, 
did he like FBI, DIA, and Homeland couldn't catch me, bitch? <laughs> you have to go see his Instagram. <laughs> but he's making fun of how he's got all the his kids are locked up. Did his kids get arrested or were they just detained? They were detained. I don't think they got arrested. Uh, he's talking about Jay Z next. He's talking about Jay Z. He's got Jay Z on a missing milk carton, asking when he's going to talk about it. He's not answering his phone. Oh, this one. I say 50. Did that one. That one was so funny. This one? <laughs> yes. Ass nigga. I told you, stop fucking with R. Kelly. I said, grab them in the pussy. Don't kidnap the pussy. They raided your shit, I see. I got a courtesy call when they raided my house. You really fucked up, up my nigga. Can I get a copy of the Meek Mill sex tape? Please, nigga. Puffy, puffy, puffy. You stupid ass nigga. I told you, stop fucking with R. Kelly. I said, grab them in the pussy. Don't kidnap the pussy. They raided your shit, I see. I got a courtesy call when they raided my house. You really fucked up, up my nigga. Can I get a copy of the Meek Mill sex tape? Please, nigga. Puffy. <laughs> I love AI. <laughs> It sucks he's going to be president again, but it is going to be funny. <laughs> he said, please, nigga. <laughs> said, my nigga. Please, my nigga. I told you stop fucking with that nigga, R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm man. I'm afraid that he going to be president again. Y'all going to have to shoot him out the White House next time. Yeah. He, he's, not leaving, he's not leaving again. Oh, he gonna get up out of there. We had to come get. But he apparently is angling to get Don Jr. to be his successor. He was. He's gonna. The theory that some Democrat floated was that he was going to nominate Carrie Lake, have them resign because they have dirt on them, and then put Don Jr. in as vice president, and then continue making Don Jr. the puppet. <sighs> Well, Y'all ain't never stood up to save America. Please stand up. Come November whenever we vote. I know me and my eight people over here gonna vote. I heard you're taking quite the uh, massive amount of people to Disney. Well, these people can... did anyway. I just said, like, <laughs> yeah. actually, and Chan is coming. Can you t say how many people are going? Uh, 41. <laughs> How many t-shirts have you made? 70. <laughs> <laughs> 70 for 41 people? <laughs> yeah, about 90. In case somebody <laughs> leave Dale's or spill some on Dale's, I got it all. You know what? Y'all know how much I love Disney. I fucking love Disney. Disney, I don't really ride. I, and, and let me just say this. I don't really, I, I went to Disney two years ago. I go to Universal because I love the VIP. So I took I told everybody, I said, y'all got to experience VIP at least once. When you go on a trip, you know, and, and I know it's hard. Everybody's pockets are different. But even if you have to plan your trip two years in, in advance, at least at one, at least one time splurge and put the best shit that they got forward. You know, and, like a VIP. And you, I swear you would never go to Universal again that way. I'm going to Epcot VIP. We're going to Discover Co VIP. We go, and they, and they thought I was crazy. I said, "Hey guys, I'm telling you, you 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 want that experience." And it's something about when you stay on a Disney property. It's 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 like you ever been somewhere and it just make you happy all the time. <laughs> you ever been white in America? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Plainfield. <laughs> well, well, it's, it's imagine playing fields with mouses. <laughs> <laughs> but so it's forty one of us, and in as busy as I am, I, I always like to plan the trip. I always tell people, you know, when I have do have a travel agent who helping me, but I always tell people. Do, try to book your own hotel or, or find your travel agent who's willing to make sure your money go a long way. And I tell you what I mean about that. I book, I book, I tell everybody, I book their own flights. I fly Delta. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you fly Delta and you book a ticket, if that ticket drops, you can go back and get a credit. 
So Gary Anna June Bug, them ticket dropped two hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. And so we was able to get I was able to take that credit and bump some more family members up until up till um uh, Delta Comfort. Hmm. Or you can save it for your next trip. I was just scrolling through my phone and I said, I remember having a credit when we went to Hawaii. I had a fifteen hundred dollar credit for Garrett, Garrett Jr. and um Nikeel. It was like six 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 of us had fourteen hundred dollars credit. <clears throat> Did they just put it back on for you automatically? No, they actually expired. So since I'm three sixty, I called and begged. What okay. they give me my fucking I didn't realize. I didn't realize they had expired. But we all, we all, I, I couldn't get on the Disney property this year. And it's because I kind of booked it at the last minute. So I just told everybody, I said, y'all got to try it. Y'all, y'all trust me when I tell you, you got to try this fucking, um, this VIP. So one day we're going to go swim with the sharks. We're going to swim with the dolphins and we're going to swim with the, um, the stingrays. Somebody's got to take video of that for this. <laughs> I got to see this. You know what the hardest part is? is <sighs> First Getting out of the water. <laughs> <First of all, laughs> Getting out of the water. I've seen Bert Kreischer's show. I know what this is going to look the like. Hardest part is getting out of the water. <laughs> I can't wait to see you on a Disney influencer channel. <laughs> Just with her arms up. I'm done. <laughs> Hold on. Since you said that, I got to see this video. Because I was like, this is going to be Nikea. Hold on. Let me show you this video. Yeah. You said a pic, a video of Nikea. So some fat dude played basketball and said it was like, kid, I haven't stopped laughing about it. Pulling it up right now. Let's see here. Chris, you should join us next year. I'm I, I will. Yeah, our goal is to go to Disney. Hope Maybe we're going to try to go this year. Um, it was going to hit you and my friend Andrew up who goes like four times a year just to figure it out because Eleanor goes to school at the end of the year, goes to kindergarten, so we just want to go and Go while she's young. All right, so here's the video. Bro didn't read the instructions is what it's titled. <laughs> I threw so much of a such. Looks like it. <laughs> so basically, what's going on is the first video was like this sl <laughs> slim, <laughs> slim woman getting on like this hoverboard with this guy, and then it cuts to like Kim Jong Un here getting on a hoverboard, and it goes he goes right into the water. <laughs> you you got to go. You gotta watch the YouTube version to see this. <laughs> it's like some sort of hoverboard attached to a hose. Yeah, it, I see those at the park. And Kim Jong Un gets on the hoverboard and it just sinks. And his belly—they're riding on his belly. <laughs> <laughs> but he puts his arm out like the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> When, when he baptizes his ass. <laughs> he's underwater. It looks he like literally he's literally riding this nigga like a dolphin. <laughs> his head looks like the Titanic. He tried That's... to hold that big nigga. He tried to hold it. <laughs> Look how the beef on the jet ski. <laughs> oh, God. That's awesome. I said, Nakia, that would not be you. <laughs> would not let you get on your ass so so I am we're going with 41 people and um um uh, it's gonna be fun I got it all planned out I got buses to take us to the park and we're going to uh, Epcot we're going to Universal we're going to Discovery Cove but I'm the big the next year I discovered something that I didn't even think I wanted to do I want to go to Cancun Mexico to um to see to what is it? Uh, Nickelodeon. Get back in the game. Chichen Itza, you want to see historical sites? No, I want to see Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon oh. is a uh, resort over there. Really? Are you sure? Are you sure you want to? 
Yeah, is it managed by Diddy? <laughs> you sure you want to go there? That's what everybody said. You sure you want to go? Well, I'm quite sure Dan Swallow or whoever they, they talked about is not over there. So. Man, you know, everybody made so much fun of Amanda Bynes back in the day, but now you realize how tragic and sad that whole story is. What What are you talking about? She got molested and impregnated and, and had an abortion at 13 by this guy. By That's who? what I read. This Dan whatever, Nickelodeon guy. And then, you know, he's all into feet, and the old logo when he was in charge of it was a foot. And then there's another Nickelodeon, and it was the same outline as Epstein Island. There were clues. We just were too young to see it. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. It's uh, it's pretty gross what was going on in Nickelodeon. I didn't hear Amanda Bi- who Amanda who? <laughs> Amanda, Amanda Bynes. Bynes. And she oh. had a really popular show. I'm Amanda. Oh, I remember her. Yeah. My little brother used to watch that stupid-ass show. She got pregnant by him? Yeah. I guess had an abortion. She had a fake Twitter account, but it was actually her telling all the tea. <laughs> Did you find it? All right. So, people, so she had a fake, so she told her. So Dan Schneider says foot comedy was in Nickelodeon was totally innocent. Uh, here's what the the logo looked like. I remember that. Yeah, and I'll see if I can find the Epstein Island one because I was yeah, like, he, oh, he that's definitely crazy. had a foot fetish. <clears throat> Did you hear about uh, Drake Bell? Yeah, what was so that? that Josh, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he molest somebody molested the skinny one. Uh, I think it was was it Brian Peck is the guy's name. They all in jail. Garrett. They all in jail, right? Mm-mm. Oh, oh. See? Wow. K I R A W O O. Hero won't miss on Twitter posted it. That's crazy. <laughs> right? Crazy. <laughs> you know what's crazy is that bridge. Did you guys see the bridge collapse? Nigga, they said the power went out on that boat. <laughs> they said the power went out on the boat. Yeah, they so said I'll, the... <laughs> I'll find the video of it. So I it's see, in ba- Baltimore. I almost feel, it's almost, I know where it's at. I've seen it. But I almost feel like that the bridge wasn't even in the fucking ground right. I mean, and the, I'm quite sure the impact was like really hard. But I'm like, y'all didn't think that a boat could run into the fucking bridge? So my friend who's a truck driver said, I drove over it once, I'd never drive over it again. It was just waiting to fall down. And they kept saying they were, there was actually, I think the people who are missing are guys that were working on it. But this boat, it's an Indian boat, and it was leaving the port, and then it lost power, which steers the boat now. I mean, they don't have like a big pirate wheel, you know. So the power, you can see that in the video, the power goes out, and then it starts lurking towards the one of, looks like four supports on the bridge. Then the power comes on and it starts to steer away and then it goes out again and then it hits the bridge. But uh, um, Jasmine lives in ba- in Baltimore. I was talking to her today and she said none of the cars, w- nobody was driving across the bridge when it actually went down. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here come one. They speed yeah, here- uh- yeah, I was watching it like rooting on the cars going, get off the bridge. And then they're so crazy, and it just completely collapses into the sea. Imagine you're driving towards it and you just see the bridge disappear. It's like 1 30 a.m. when this happened. It'd have been fucked up if all them truckers who was boycotting was on that bridge. (laughs) Fucking build back better. (laughs) (laughs) Joe Biden's America. That's all I'm saying, Miss Pat. Build back better, baby. Why, why, why is it Joe Biden America? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just that would be stupid. <laughs> this wouldn't have happened under Donald Trump. I'm just saying. Yes, it would have. This this fucking bridge is older than his toupee. So they were <laughs> both bound to fall. <laughs> both of them thinning the fuck out. 
I, I want to know how this bridge collapse was orchestrated by the deep state in order to help Joe Biden get elected. This that, is a plan, man. This is a fucking deep state cyber op. No, look, is what look, this is. This is Moonhaller 2.0 says this is sketchy as AF. <laughs> what is uh, motherfucker talking about? I don't know. These people make up anything. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, that, that, that was very fucking scary. I hate going across bridges. I I mean, especially the the old ones. I mean, the one who finding Nemo them made. I don't. Like <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I hate them fucking bridges. The bridges made by who? Finding Nemo. <laughs> Are there any people in Finding Nemo? Uh-uh. They just pet that shit with their little tail like a paddle. <laughs> what? Are you talking like about? a paddle puss. Oh, be- beaver dams. Yeah. God, Paddle- how do I know what you're talking about? A paddlepuss. <laughs> Sting with the flat tail. If you grab it, he sting the fuck out you. Yeah, but what does that have to do with the bridge? <laughs> he built that bridge. <laughs> no, those are beavers. <laughs> Paddlepuss is a beaver. No, they it's just it's- have beaver tails. That's it. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make dams. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they look like they work hard. <laughs> I saw one one time. Well, you don't supposed to grab them like they got something in their tail for protection. And they're they have a, they have a, a poisonous spine. And they can yeah, prick so you with. This man gonna grab it by the tail, and then nigga almost lost his life. He had a heart attack. Mm-hmm. What? Well, you know, white people, y'all knows it. Y'all ain't gotta tell nigga <laughs> one. Don't, don't fuck with that snake. Oh, I ain't fucking with that snake. We don't. We are some mind all business motherfuckers. <laughs> you don't give like they got this thing where I was seeing uh, this lady does a safari. Is asking me, do you want to go out and sleep with the lions, bitch? Who? I don't even want to sleep with a lion, nigga. Do you? So you think like, <laughs> a lion? <laughs> you fucking crazy? She said, I don't want to sleep with a lion, nigga. Oh, it's venom. It's in their foot. It looks like they have like little venomous snake teeth in their fingers. Yeah. Ugh. And he grabbed it. It stuck the shit out of him. Cute though. Yeah, they don't. They're blind. <clears throat> what? They're blind. They are. Hmm. How do you know that? Yeah. Why do you know so much about platypuses? I used to love animals when I was a kid. I would go to the library and read up on all that shit. That's a Rachel <laughs> with a knife in his hand? Yeah. That Rachel with a knife in his hand? <laughs> <laughs> okay. hey, he don't give a beaver damn. <laughs> you know one thing I don't like? I don't like watching that, um, um, that, those Discovery Channel with the animals. You know, they have to eat each other. Oh, and one you don't today, like it? No, I love it. So one today I was watching on on TikTok, and it was a big ass brown bear, and it was this little thing. He kind of looked like a goat mountain. I call him a goat mountain, a mountain goat. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, it wasn't a mountain of goats, right? <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a goat that run up on the hill and shit. Right, yeah, big horns. Yeah. Goat mountain. <laughs> He was tapping his feet like, come on out here, nigga. I'm going to run on these rocks and your ass going to slip and fall. <laughs> but he had a little mountain goat baby. And I was like, bear, can you please find a tree to gnaw it on? Don't you eat that fucking baby, you dirty ass bear. <laughs> and he couldn't get to him because they were stuck on the rocks. But I saw this baby alligator get eat by this big ass snake. What? And he and he couldn't even swallow the little baby alligator all the way, but he was resting to you know to get it digest. That mama smelt that motherfucking snake <laughs> bro, and said, "You ate my baby, nigga." Them alligator grabbed that snake by the head and ripped that motherfucking eighteen pieces. Nice. Yeah. What documentary was this? I want to watch it. <laughs> I, I I'm just some shit. I was like, I hate those kind of things because I'm like, we the people should feed them so they don't eat each other. <laughs> we can't even feed each other. What the fuck they are feeding themselves? <laughs> you gonna give them some oatmeal, nigga? <laughs> right. <laughs> this is an anemic alligators walking around going, can I please have some meat? <laughs> it is just so sad. 
it just so the way they be, I mean, the way they just rip each other fucking heads off. And I'm I like, love it. do we have to? It, it grossed me the fuck out. We were watching a uh, polar bear hunt. We were watching Living Planet on Netflix the other night, and polar bears hunting seals, rooting for that polar bear. I was like, go, go, go. Yeah, they don't even show the gruesome shit they used to. Yeah. Back in the 90s, I remember watching Discovery Channel, man. Cheetahs would fucking rip antelopes open all, all goddamn night. I love that shit. Kids these days are too sensitive. Oh, I was just cry. I'd be just cry. I'd be like, don't run, baby, run. run. I saw uh, these these cheetah-looking, tiger-looking things was chasing this thing. It was like, it looked like a moose, but I know it wasn't no fucking moose over there. That motherfucker, he, he that could have been he could have been a football player. Cause he was he was like yeet yeet. He was he was getting it. He was faking <laughs> those fucking cheetah cats out, and he was <laughs> jumping all over them, jumping all in the water. That nigga was like y'all ain't. Get, he had to be black. Have y'all ever <laughs> seen <laughs> the antelope a real thing? Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He was an antelope. Well, they roam and they play. Yeah, he was black. <laughs> he was for real. He was. They was trying to eat him. Did y'all ever see those voiceovers of the those alligators when they snatch the like zebras when they get in water? But some dude did a bunch of voiceovers. It's like <laughs> all the zebras in the back, like nigga, don't you fuck with drink that water? No, nah, man, I'm thirsty. I gotta get this water. And the little croc is creeping up, <laughs> and he's doing the voice. He told your ass, don't get that fucking water. <laughs> then the <laughs> fucking. <laughs> See if you can pull it up on YouTube. That shit is, what? there's a series of crocodiles snatching shit into the water. And this dude made a bunch of voiceovers for it. It's so funny. Oh, I don't know. Let's, I'll do my best. Uh, I used to love those nature documentaries, man. I cannot stand them. I, I, I just wish we had enough food to feed them and they would stop killing little babies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's not Lyle the Nile, the crocodile. I saw, uh, I saw a rhinoceros or something sitting down, and a tiger came up behind him. He stood up like, "You better find you somebody to fucking play with, bitch ass nigga." <laughs> Just see that video of the construction workers, uh, yeah. guy dressed up like a bear, and he's <laughs> behind by, around the corner, and then the, no. the supervisor walked around the corner. And he saw him in the bear costume. He just took off. <laughs> Running, you haven't seen that video? Oh, it's all over no. TikTok. Let TikTok. me see if I can send it to you. Hold I, on, I, I think I got it. Hold on, <laughs> 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 just listen, the visual of it is funny. <laughs> yeah, is there it, it is. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's okay. It. So it's, it's a, it looks like literally looks like a bear hiding around a big transformer on a construction site, and the construction. Managers walking towards the bear, and the bear's gonna jump around the corner, and everybody's hiding watching. <laughs> Here he comes, he's walking. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is why men die early. <laughs> I love it. That's funny. Yeah, it's shot in the ass, then we. <laughs> oh. People. I don't know why I got this red pimp in the top of my head like I'm heavy. Nigga, I got one the other day, my damn self. I just popped it yesterday. It's like right here. Y'all okay. can't see it. Thank God. Those are but... a good spot for them, too, because they pop really well. I don't like popping them. It's, it's like I got dry skin or something. I realize I'm I'm, I'm allergic to certain makeup, and my face break mm. out really bad. And I hate makeup. That's why I don't put mine on, on the podcast. I appreciate y'all accepting me for who I am. I don't <laughs> hate up. Yeah, I did comb my hair today. I did put on a wig and you know comb my hair and do little stuff like that. But I I, I fucking hate makeup. I fucking hate a bra. You know I hate my I hate draws with extra elastic between the legs. <laughs> I just 
How do you feel I'm about extra... the over? <laughs> because you know, I'm I'm not a skipper bath type bitch. I don't have that kind of pussy. My pussy. Wait, do, do you do the full body? What's up with the full body deodorant? We don't need the full body deodorant. <laughs> Who's that have stinky? Skip a bath. Huh? What, what, Some of the shit you say is funny. <laughs> Just, I don't have life. what? I don't have skip a <laughs> I don't have skip a my I don't have skip a day pussy. I got <laughs> <laughs> who, who had who has pussies that can skip a day? Like these kids on the weekend, they'll sit there the whole weekend if you don't tell them to take a bath. I said, I know your pussy burning. Mine's burning for you. Oh, God. Go wash your ass. You know, kids are disgusting. They really are. They're fucking gross. They don't. <clears throat> Smelly ass, you better you must. I don't know. Well, it ain't me smelling like mother <laughs> on your ring and carpet. <laughs> Our little five year old, she's I thought she'd get less gross as she ate, just constantly like picking at things and licking her fingers. Ugh, it's yeah. gross. You wait till your baby start jacking his penis, grabbing his <laughs> wait till that shit. They grow up. They eventually grow up and grow out of it, but they're nasty. I have to get a shout out out of here before we get out of here. Thank y'all each and every week for listening. I will be in my podcast house to, uh, in, by April. In, by the end of April. Awesome. Cannot wait. Uh, I got to give a shout out to my, my grandson, Ashton. He whooped three people asses at school. He's the <laughs> one I thought was going to be a little feudy tooty, but he has turned out to be a fucking fighter. Well, gay people can fight too. <laughs> Look at Jake Paul. All right, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. What was I saying? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Let's uh, pull You're up your saying. dates, though. Oh, I was You're... saying, I was saying, my my grandson whooped three people ass. Oh, that's right. He just he just turned out to be an ass kicker, and and I said, well, why why did you fight, Aiden Ashton? He said, because they hit me. I said, but you hit three people. He said, I hit everybody because I didn't know exactly who hit me. <laughs> That's good. That's... He's pretty good, Ashton. Ashton does not fucking play. He kick ass. And with that said, I'm going to be kicking ass all weekend. Right after my vacation, I'll be in Naples. Off the Hook Comedy Club, April 6th through the 7th. Get your tickets now, y'all, because they're going fast. April 18th, I'll be at Paramount Theater, Austin, Texas. Yes, Texas, I'm coming your way. I love Austin. May 3rd, Belasco. I will, oh, May 3rd is Netflix is a joke. And I said Belasco. Why are you Belasco, not Molesto. Belasco. <laughs> that was a clown. Oh, <laughs> uh, make sure you get your ticket. O'Hara Casino, May 11th. I will be coming your way. Uh, May 17th, Lexington Opera House, Lexington, Kentucky. I love Lexington. May 18th, the Joy Theater, New Orleans. God damn it, this is my first time in New Orleans, and I'm excited, and I can't wait, and it's almost sold out. Uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, I see y'all. Y'all doing your damn thing. May 31st, I'll be there. June 1, Southern, uh, I'm sorry, Columbus, Ohio. I like Columbus. I will be there. So make sure y'all get y'all tickets. Go to misspackcomedy.com for all the updates, all the tickets. Come April the 12th. I have a movie that's going to be in the theaters for one day and one day only, okay? Hmm. Yes, because it was supposed to go straight to BT Plus. It was so good. It's called Throw Mom. I'm Throw Mom from the Chain. Who uh who killed who killed the babysitter? Uh, who gonna tell Mama what is it? Oh, who murdered the babysitter? The I... let me go to my Instagram. So fix this for me, Kate. So I don't look stupid. Um, the name of the movie. Oh, was... Mom had a nervous breakdown. Whoa. And now she has to go to Thailand. She ain't telling me the name of the people. Yoga meditation retreat. So we've been at oh, a whole God house outside. God damn it. Uh, don't tell mama the babysitter's dead. So I'm in this new movie called Don't Tell Mama the Ma Babysitter Dead. It's a remake. I'm the mama. They made it black. Because you know how we do. Uh, we remake shit with a little spice. So. It's a really good movie. The first one was great. I watched it as a young girl. It was a really good movie. And this one is really good, too. Never thought I would be growing up and be the mama in the remake. But I'm the mama. April 12th, it'll be in theaters one day only. Because it was actually made for the platform. And they decided, since it was pretty, it was good, 
They're going to stick it in the theaters for one day. So if you don't do nothing, please go April the 12th and buy tickets to see me in the movie theater. Don't tell mom and the babysitter that I'm excited. I'm Congratulations. Excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I, I've been watching the trailer. I probably watched the trailer 10 times. I'm just in there a little bit, but it's pretty damn funny. And I killed called me and was like, this white lady in this movie funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, she looked mean on screen. <laughs> <laughs> she was actually the babysitter in the first one. <laughs> oh, Christina Applegate? Uh-oh, Christina Applegate wasn't the babysitter. She was in the first movie. Is she in this movie? No, she's not in there. I said she was the, okay. the babysitter from the lad. The first one was babysitter this time. Oh yeah, Kelly Bundy. That was the the actress. She she played Kelly Bundy, and then she did that movie. She was not the babysitter. In the movie, she was the babysitter. She was no, she wasn't. She was a, the child. The babysitter. Are you sure? Look up, look it up, pull it up. Oh, you're right. She was the, the older sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was Mrs. Strunk. Yes, that lady's back. How is Mrs. Strunk back? She looked 109. <laughs> <laughs> well, they told me she was in the other movie. I think that Mrs. Strunk. <laughs> look, 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 this lady died in 1998, so you got some bad. <laughs> look at her. Yeah, that ain't her. <laughs> she was always yelling at people in movies, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? what, what? She, she got that sit your ass down face. Yeah. She got that hair that got a disease. It was all over the place. But so make sure y'all go April the 12th and check me out in the theater because I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited about this movie. It's really fucking good. I got more projects coming. I can't wait to share them with y'all. I can't wait to tell y'all about them. But until then, until next time, make sure you keep tuning into the pat down. Cause me, Dion, and Chris need you like. Didn't need no oh, time. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bail. Bail. <laughs>